Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertis here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be working with overlays for our layers inside of Photoshop. So if you take a quick look at my scene that I've got here, you can see I've got my test text that I made in the last video, however this time I've got a bit of a pattern on it. So I've actually got a second layer here, um, which is sort of this abstract style, but I've got that blended into the text so it fits around it and it looks quite nice. So having said that, what we're going to be doing is showing you exactly how to create something like this. In addition to that, I'm also going to be going over things like color overlays, gradient overlays, and pattern overlays as well, so that you can overlay stuff on top of existing layers to get a good looking effect like you've got here. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to quickly break the link between these two things here, and I'm going to turn off the visibility for my second piece of text. And also, if you created some text or anything like that already, as we did in the second video, I turned down my fill opacity and it looked just like this. Just make sure your opacity for fill is all the way up, that way you can actually work with all of your overlays and you can see it in your scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with the first type of overlay, the most simplest type of overlay, and that is simply a color overlay. Now if you want to get into that, it's simply just in the blending options for your layer. So that can be any old layer that you've got. So for example for me, I'm going to work with the text for now, and I'm going to go to blending options, and then all I've got to do is select color overlay. And you can see as soon as I do that, you can see it's actually given it this slight little color here, and that's gray, and I can quite easily change that by simply choosing a little grey colour here. All I've got to do is click on it and then I can change it to anything I like. So if I wanted to I can change it to a blue, I can change it to a green, I can change it to a red, it's entirely up to you. For me I'm going to change this to a sort of dark blue just like this and then press OK and that looks quite nice. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I can actually change the opacity to change just how much of that grey colour there is going to be in the object. Now at 0% opacity it's going to have the grey are completely transparent and it's going to be at the original colour of that object. So the original colour for this text is black, so it's going to be fading it from black to this dark grey blue that we've got here. Um, so just try and get your head around that. It's the original colour, it's not going to make the object completely transparent if you turn down the opacity. If you want to do that, you've got to do it through the opacity of the object up here. So moving on from color opacity, let's go to the next one. The next one is your gradient overlay. Now this can really create some really awesome effects. So first things first, a gradient is pretty much when you blend between two colors. So for example, if you take a quick look at my scene here, you can see I'm blending between a dark green to a light green, and it gives off this really, really nice effect. Now if I wanted to, I can change the color for that. I've also got a bunch of pre uh, presets that I've got available to me. So for example, I can change it to a orange, yellow, orange like this, and I get this really cool goldish kind of effect that I've got. I've also got this brown one that looks a bit like it's bronze. Um, or I've got this one here if you're tripping. Um, you know, you can play around with these, but for now I'm just going to go with a really simple one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly select a two-tone gradient here, and I will show you how to create your own gradients with your own colors. So as you can see, when I actually hover over the gradient overlay over here, it says click to edit this gradient. If I click it, from here I can then change it. So the ways that you would change this is the position of the colors and also the colors that are inside it as well. So for example, if I don't want black to be on there, I'd click the little black node at the bottom left here. And then from there, I can just change the color by clicking on it and then I can change it to another color. So for example, I could change this to red at the start and you can see it's now fading from red to white and you can see that quite nicely in the little preview. So instead of red to white, I'm gonna click the second color over here and I'm gonna change this to a bit of an orange just like that and you can see it comes to life straight away in our little scene there which is quite nice. Now one other thing you can do is you can actually add a stop in your gradient so you can add an extra colour. So let's say in the middle of the red and the orange I wanted to add a green, I can do that. So just click anywhere on here to add one. Um, now bear in mind, make sure you click where you actually want to place this colour. So if you want the colour to be in the centre, click in the centre. If you want it to be just a little bit towards the end, do that as well. For me I'm just going to put this in the centre, so click to add stop. And then with this new stop, you can then proceed to change the color. For me, I'm going to change this to a green. Actually, no, it's quite, that doesn't look too great. So I'm going to put it more on the, on the yellowy side here to make it look a little bit more natural. And you can see that's really coming to life. And in terms of location, that's just a matter of dragging this across and changing the placement in your gradient. 
So I'm just going to leave this at 50 for now, press OK, and we're going to go through some of these settings. Now blending modes, we're going to be going over that later on, so don't worry about that in too much detail for now. Style, you've got linear, radial, angle, reflected, and diamond. Now the only ones you're really going to be using is linear, which is just a straight, straight gradient. Radial is pretty much going to be centralizing it, so you can see you've got the green in the center and then it goes out and out and out. Um, play around with it, you can also change the angle and all of that good stuff, it's entirely up to you. Once again, it's just going to be a case of finding the look and the style that you're after. And then you've also got your angle one as well, but I wouldn't really use that. Just play around with the linear one, that's probably the one you're probably going to use the most, um, so just leave it at that. So, and then obviously you've also got the scale, which is the size of your gradient. So if I go to radial, I can then change the scale. You've got a little preview here and you can see it coming to life, getting bigger, getting smaller and all that good stuff. So moving on to the next one, pattern overlays. So pattern overlays are basically going to have like this little pattern here. And then with that, you can just change the color and stuff. Um, the patterns, there's not too much you can do with it. Personally, I prefer using an image overlay as opposed to a pattern overlay. But inside of here, blend mode, normal, opacity controls the strength of the opacity overlay. And then the pattern itself can be chosen inside of here. So we've got our optical squares. If you want to go for that, it's quite trippy. It hurts your eyes. Uh, we've got this sponge looking one if you're into that. We've got this deep blue sea looking one if you want to go for that. Just play around with the different patterns you've got available to you. If you go in here, you've also got a bunch of extra patterns. So if we go to a little cog, go to the drop down. So let's say we want some nature patterns. So replace current patterns with the patterns. So no, I don't want to replace it. I want to keep the ones I've got there already. So I'm simply going to press append and that will add it on. And then from there, I can get some flowers. I can get all of this good stuff and I can just keep adding in these patterns from here as well. You can create new patterns. I'm not going to show you how to do that in today's video, but just keep in mind you've got a whole bunch of different options available to you here. Now, besides these patterns that we've got here, uh, not the patterns, the overlays we've got in the blending options, we can also use an image overlay and I think that's probably one of the nicest, way, nicest ways to do an overlay. So I'm going to make sure my color, gradient and pattern overlays are all unchecked so that I can use the image overlay instead. I'm going to press OK to close that and I've just got my black text. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how we can actually put this little image onto our text. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, you need to make sure, make sure you size the original image to fit the whole of your text. So if it was like this, and then I try and put it on, it's not gonna cover all of my text there. So I've gotta make sure before I do that, I scale it all the way over and above, just like that, and then I'm gonna centralize it. And then from there, all you've gotta to do to overlay this is simply hold down Alt, and then just click between the two layers, making sure the pattern or the image is exactly above the text. Press Alt, you'll get this little icon here, click, and then that will merge the two of them together, and you get this really, really cool effect. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed that. There's loads of different types of overlays you can play around with. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.